Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I am Viva Glaze. Please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you know each time I put out a video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have a quick chat about what signature scents are exactly and why do we need to have signature scents? Is that a thing? I mean, is that necessary? This is just from the top of my head. Signature scent. Mm, I would say a signature scent is something, a scent specifically, that represents you. So represents your personality, represents your vibe, your likes, your dislikes. It needs to suit your aura, how you present yourself to the world and so on. So a signature scent, I think, takes time to select. I don't think you should just walk in and select whatever perfume is on the counter, buy it and call that your signature scent. No, I think you need to put some thought into the scent that you wear as a scent that describes who you are. Normally when you walk into a room, your scent will tell people that one, you have arrived, whether that's a good thing or not, and what you're bringing to the room, okay? What kind of aura, what kind of personality are you? So if you have a nice, friendly, sweet scent, oh, she's a girly girl. If you have a sophisticated scent, oh, she's very classy. She takes her time. She likes to buy expensive things, you know, that type of thing. If you have a um, strong scent you know you're very bold some people would choose a signature scent that is opposite to their personality to help them boost their confidence for example if you're quite shy but you know your job you have to be upfront and personal with people you kind of have to be blunt and very frank and set the rules you're the team leader you're the boss um, you kind of wear perfume that demands presence in the room. You wear fragrance that gives you the confidence because if you didn't know, perfume does that. It can give you the confidence. Or you're out on a date or you're getting ready to go out on a date and you just wanna feel beautiful, you know? So that you can go out and be confident when you're meeting this guy or you're meeting this girl. You're gonna choose a fragrance that makes you feel that way because fragrance does affect mood and atmosphere. So yes, I think take your time choosing a signature scent. Now, how do you choose a signature scent? You need to determine what type of signature scent you want. Is it a bedtime signature scent? Is it a work signature scent? Is it a day-to-day um, -day signature scent? Is it an errand running? Then you go in store and you smell different fragrances and you try them out, you buy samples and you see what you like and what suits your lifestyle. It's great, you can select different types of signature scents. You don't just have to have one, but have your one favorite go-to. And I think this will just happen without you trying anyway, you will have your go-tos. Um, so yes, it's so much fun trying to find a signature scent for yourself. I mean, at least you know you have a goal and you're trying to reach that instead of just blind buying and impulse purchasing fragrances without a goal. So if you're going out there and you're searching for a signature scent and that is what you're going to be determined to find and you will find one. And if you are still overwhelmed with what to do, where to start, okay, it is all trial and error. So go and smell different fragrances and determine, okay, hmm, I like more sweet scents because when I tried this particular one, like Britney Spears, uh, it's not really good. So maybe I'll like others in that range or I'll just pick one in particular and I'll use that one all the time. If I get sick of that one, you can go ahead and move on to another signature scent. You are not bound to one scent, okay? Despite what people around you are going to say, 
Even though we do want a signature scent to be something that is non-offensive, something you can grab and go at any time, any place, um, which is fine on planes, in close proximity with people, all around children, you can't be out there with your signature scent saying, I'm just doing me. Because at the end of the day, we can't ignore the fact that we live around other people or work around other people. So. A signature scent should be something you can grab and go and works in a lot of situations. Now, if you're still overwhelmed, I would say you would also need a signature scent that is within your price range because it might be something you will grow to love and the people around you will love to smell on you. So you're going to be able to repurchase it numerous of times because you're going to be going through that bottle a lot quicker than other fragrances because it's your signature scent. It's your go-to. So something within your price range. <laughs> and if you find something that's really expensive for you and you can't keep up, of course, you can find scents that smell similar to your signature scent, or you can use it sparingly and kind of layer it with something less expensive. We'll talk about that another time. But um, if you ever have any questions about choosing a signature scent, leave them in the comment section or just DM me and we can chat about it, okay? So, signature scents. It could be anything for any occasion, okay? You could have signature scent for special occasions. If you are in a stable relationship, let's say you have a husband, you have a partner, or a boyfriend or girlfriend for a long period of time and they know you by this one perfume or they understand that when Viva or so-and-so is wearing this one particular fragrance, okay? It's a good day today, okay? <laughs> So yeah, you can use a signature scent or a perfume to communicate your feelings, your mood to other people um, around you. So yes, I have one particular fragrance that I would use when I'm not feeling very well. I'm not in my happiest mood and I just need a bit of comforting. You know, there's some things that are happening in my life and I just want to spray that to bed. So that when I'm all covered and warm and cozy, I can feel comforted and feel a lot better. It almost feels like a hug. So um, perfumes can do that for you. They actually need to be part of your day to day and it will happen slowly, um, but it's, it's, it's a good order. Sometimes being from certain countries, our foods, are very spicy and they have spices that linger in the air like the smell of food could be your mom's favorite stew it tastes really good but it leaves the house smelling like mm. in that case we need to get rid of that order because it's already the next day and we might be getting visitors and we don't need them to know what we had for dinner last night okay and you don't want those scents or that order on your clothing as well if you're about to head out so that's where perfume comes in handy please please i beg you do not wear fragrance on top of dirty clothes sweaty bodies okay because people at the gym think that spraying on top of sweat helps no it doesn't the smell of your sweat and the smell of fragrance of perfume are two different smells. I, ca I can differentiate between the two. So I will smell your body odor and then smell the perfume on top. In some cases, it actually makes you smell worse. Okay, so you're better off if you really want to wear a perfume to the gym, go ahead and wear something fresh and clean like Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, something like that would be non-offensive. But the other sprays that other, I see other people wearing, they don't mask the sweat. If you know you're gonna be in a closed environment around other people, like I mentioned, people have allergies. Don't be out there thinking you live in a bubble and you just spray like. So I find that sometimes people have been used to wearing cheaper fragrances, you know, that 
the, the smell only lasts like 10 minutes or half an hour. So they feel the need to overspray so that it lasts longer, okay? But then they buy something like Chanel number no. five. This is quality, this is potent. And they still go ahead and spray like there's no tomorrow, you know? I believe that there is an art to spraying perfume. Let's respect the fragrance, let's respect the people around us and spray appropriately. And if it is hot weather, we are not going to be wearing heavy, heavy oud bouquet on a bus. I once wore a beautiful dress. My hair was done very nicely. I just looked good, okay? I was wearing Louboutins, okay? And I forgot to wear a fragrance. I was in a rush, I forgot. And now I'm thinking my outfit was incomplete. It was incomplete. Can you imagine having meat with no salt like that? That's what it would be like if you're wearing a nice outfit with no fragrance, a bit tasteless, you know? So it's, it's the perfect seasoning on your outfit. Um, yeah. On the topic of outfits, when you're getting dressed and uh, you're spraying your fragrance, don't spray in your shoes or your socks, okay? That's nasty. Especially if you know you get sweaty. Like I said, sweat, dirt, dirty socks, dirty clothes, and perfume do not mix well. So don't try to mask stinkiness with perfume it's different if you are just plain and clean but no scent then you can go on and add a pleasant odor to yourself and clothing you don't always have to have a signature scent that is a perfume so it could be anything really signature scent is a broad topic but go ahead and add some more stuff on your mind in the comment section let me know what's on your mind about signature scents and what you think they are and if they're important do they really exist because at the end of the day anything and everything could be your signature scent i hope you enjoyed this video please go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in my next one